Um, folks, uh, our, our next author asked me to read this, so I apologize. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange, who? Orange, you glad that our next author is here to show you how to have fun in this fuzzy, wuzzy, festive season? Jesus, this is the worst introduction I've ever seen. <laughs> it's beneath me to even say half the words in here. Uh, how to even use the word fruity tootiful. You know what? Let's just skip ahead and welcome the author of The Quirky Girl's Guide to Christmas, Chloe Tangerman. It's your girl, Chloe. <laughs> and I am super excited for the holidays. They're my favorite. Um, you have glitter everywhere. Oh, yes. <laughs> Singing loudly in public is now encouraged. <laughs> oh, and Christmas sweaters. <laughs> they are cuter than a baby giraffe wearing rain boots. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I take it back, giraffes. You're so much cuter. <sighs> so, I know that there are some people who are, you know, bad mood, bah humbugs. <laughs> then you got the people that just don't know how to upgrade their simple celebration to a pizzazzapalooza. <laughs> so, I'm here to help you figure it out. And we're going to put the quirk to work. <laughs> Help me. My name is not Chloe. My name is Karen. Um, I don't know. Um, this thing that's in my body right now, this, this quirky demon. Okay, so six months ago, I made the mistake of Googling Zoe Deschanel's bangs. And, <laughs> and next thing I know, I wake up in a park and I'm wearing a polka dot romper. And I'm flying a kite that looks like a bow tie. And... <laughs> Guys, I don't know how much longer I can hold on. She is so strong. <laughs> can someone just tell my family? Okay. <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> if you need to boost your way to bopping around the Christmas tree, why not just try eggnog? <sighs> but there's also a vegan option. It's a cup of water with a peppermint stick. <gasps> I'm bad. <laughs> okay, so do you have a friend who is yearning for Yuletide cheer? Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> so you're going to go to their house. You're going to crouch in the bushes. And then when they come out, you're going to bust up out of there with some, gl with some glitter confetti. Oh, I got too excited to say the word. With some glitter confetti and a doo -doo 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 kazoo. They'll love it. Do you have a kazoo? Do you want one? Because I can help you with that. OK, so <laughs> with that eggnog, um, if you want to make it a little more grown up and sass up that soiree, you're going to put a little syrup in your coffee, <laughs> a little bit of liquor in your eggnog. <laughs> you're going to get naughty. That's how you. That's how you do that, but don't get too Tyrannosaurus turned on me, okay? <laughs> the last thing you need is to make a mistake. That's how I say sex. <gasps> wow. Tr trust me, it is called mistletoe, not mistlehoe. <laughs> guys, guys, she is lying. She gets so drunk all the time. <laughs> And whenever she does, she tries to dress her hamster in an outfit, but then she starts crying when she remembers she doesn't have a hamster. <laughs> and then she just starts sending really weird messages to her Tinder matches. Like, it's just like this old guy wiggling his eyebrows and then a bunch of unrelated emojis. And I don't know what to do. They haven't responded yet, but when they do, I don't know what's going to happen to me. <laughs> She's just... She's so freaking weird. And chapter two. All right. Presents that nobody can resent. Aww. I like your.
Mr. Bangs. Okay. Shopping is hard enough without having to feed into the mainstream monetization of Christmas. Am I right? <laughs> So I do my best to support local sellers and artisans because there's nothing more cozy than commodities from around the corner. <laughs> Where'd you get your bangs done? Oh, thrifty quirky girl. I love it. Okay. The best way to get down with your Murphy Brown. <laughs> get it? Feminism. <laughs> is to support female-owned, handmade crafties. I myself run a pretty nifty Etsy shop called Bangs Not Wangs, <laughs> where I fight the patriarchy one craft at a time. Guys, she is not fighting the patriarchy. Oh my god. All of her friends are guys because she is threatened by other women. <laughs> One time, her friend brought his girlfriend on a movie outing without telling her. And this nut insisted in sitting in between them so she could make a new fallopian friend. Then she didn't even talk to her. Like, what's that about? Why do you hate women? Chloe, what was done to you? All right, in my Etsy store, I gotta tell you, you can find a whole lot of zippity-doo-dah crafts. <laughs> Fun words. All right. Just last week, I sold a tap shoe that was filled with flowers. You know what I called it? Planters fasciitis. <laughs> you. Okie dokie. A perfect addition to any winter punderland. <laughs> I went there. <laughs> you loved it. Look at you. Where do you live? All right. <laughs> but I would have to say, my favorite craft right now is celebra seeds, which are pine cones that I dress up to make them look like famous people. I brought some. You want to see them? Of course you do. <clears throat> hey, mom. You must be the bay to watch because David Hasselhoff is banging at your door. Remember when he had that pain pill addiction? Neither does he. <laughs> oh, and dad, don't be jealous. I know that some men prefer blondes. So here's Marilyn Monroe for you. And the hair is from the last time I cut my own bangs, right? <laughs> All right, adorable bangs. <laughs> Sexy. Oh, and who's this? It's Taylor Swift, fresh from a Mexican vacation. I had a dream about it. We were eating snow cones. There was no bad blood between us. <laughs> Song reference. I hope you find my Etsy shop because I worked really hard on these. Honestly, it took $60 to make these. So the only place you will find them is either in my Etsy shop or a second grade classroom. <laughs> Guys, do you see the hell I've been in? Oh my God. Half of what she says is just terrible puns and the other half are either phrases from the 1940s or just phrases that she entirely makes up. And guys, these glasses aren't even real. I don't know what she's doing. I don't, this is hell. Okay, so Jiminy Christmas. Sorry, I must have had gas. <clears throat> we can't forget about Hanukkah either, can we? Nope. Last year, I gave my Jewish friend a men aura. Okay, which was a menorah, but every candle had a man painted on it, so she would never be without a date for the holy days. <laughs> when I gave it to her, she could barely Jorsing Joseph Gordon love it be leave it. <laughs> Get it? Because he likes us quirky girls. He made movies with us, but then didn't call us back afterwards. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not mad. <laughs> Wowee! <laughs> Chapter
Sector 3, put on a show and let it snow. You guys like entertaining? I know you do, bangs. <laughs> you guys like throwing parties? Well, then get ready to party with this, okay? If you're strapped for cash, because you went wild yet again at a fabric store closeout, <laughs> then remember that sometimes the best gifts aren't things that people ask for, or even things that people want. I show my love every chance I get by yucking it up on my ukulele. Oh, so quirky. I love it. This is a great way to show you're talented but not be stuck up, unlike Emma, who always has to bring her cello to parties. <laughs> she is super duper stupid gifted. And I kind of wish that she would just join a traveling orchestra in Russia. <laughs> Guys, um, actually, I gotta be honest, I'm with her on this. Emma is a huge bitch. I'm not gonna fight her on this one. Okay! So lucky for you, doodly doodas. Oh, I love it. I just happened to bring along my sing-along. Oh, so let's sing some songs, shall we? Let me get my pick from my happy pit. That's what we call bras. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Yeah. Oh, stop. Okay. Ready? <clears throat> this is my version of Silent Night. It's pretty quirky. Silent Night. Holy Night. All is calm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All is bright. Ha, ha, ha. Round young virgin. Yeah, right. Holy mother and child. Unless you don't want to have children because that's totally your choice because feminism is is how we go. Holy infant, so tender and mild, like taco sauce. I'm just kidding, we're playing around. <laughs> Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. <laughs> Quirky, isn't it? Rule number one of being quirky, you don't have to be good, you just have to be loud. <laughs> oh, you guys are delightful. Okay, I wrote a little one just for you. You with a little face scruff. All right, you'd look good with bangs. Christmas is here and the world is bright. We're coming for you, don't put up a fight. It's Christmas. Thank you. I wrote that for you and you and you and we're all good friends now. Please someone call the police. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Thank you, good night.